Okay, in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can use a photograph to create um, a graphic from by doing a trace drawing in Illustrator and then we can use that graphic as a vector file or a, uh, and, and put it into our Adobe Muse website. Uh, so what you want to do first is you want to go to new and just create a new document, just set it for web, so that's fine, I'll click OK. Uh, and I've got a picture of a light, light globe here that I'm going to just place into, oh, not that one, that I'm just going to place into my um, project here. Okay, now what it is, it comes in on its own layer, I'm just going to make it it's a bit too big at the moment, so I'll just scale it down slightly, that will do. Uh, now, you need to do this on its own layer because we will draw on a separate layer to the photograph and then we'll discard the photograph layer. Uh, so I'll show you how that works. So, new layer. I'd probably use, you could use the paintbrush or you could use the pencil. I'm going to use the pencil tool. Set your stroke to what colour you want and the size of the stroke. I might go maybe two or th three points here. Uh, I'm just going to hold shift to draw a straight line. Hold shift, click and hold and drag down. And there we've got a nice straight line there. I can hide that layer to see what it looks like. Uh, I could probably make it a bit thicker if I wanted to. By up in the stroke, I might make it four points. There we go. Uh, now, I, what you can do is also is to lock your photograph layer so that it doesn't interfere with what you're trying to do. Uh, I might just rotate it a little bit there. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to draw the rest of the bulb. I rotate a tiny bit more. There we go, that's good. And now back to the pencil tool and make sure you're on the right layer and I'm just going to now just draw this section of the light globe here uh, I might put the point down to a two point it might be a bit look a bit nicer so I'm just tracing over the photograph connect it up there we go and I'm going to do the bottom part of the light globe now and this is just a really simple easy way that you can create 100% original graphics by using an already existing photograph and you can just find the photograph off Google Images. Whoops, that shouldn't have done that, but I'll start up again. Now I'm using a mouse here, you could use a graphics tablet if you liked. Whoops, I don't really want it to be doing that, but let's try one more time. Now I'm going really quick. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, it's a bit out of way, out of shape, but you'll be able to do a better job than me. Now, um, that's pretty much done. Actually, what I might do is I might just draw some strokes, uh, some flashes that are coming out from the light globe here to jazz it up a little bit. There we go. And now we don't need this photograph anymore, so I'm just going to throw it in the bin. And there's our hanging light globe graphic. Now, you can do this with any photograph or image that you want. Uh, I might just add one more touch to it. I might just get a uh, draw out a circle here. Now, if I hold Shift, well, I'll do it. I'll keep it on this layer. If I hold Shift and drag a circle out, and I'll change the fill and the stroke just to yellow. I don't want a stroke, and I might change the fill just to yellow. And the Move tool and move it to where I want it. Now, it's in front at the moment and it's on the same layer. So what you need to do there is if you just right click the object and go to arrange, send backwards or send to back, we'll send it all the way to the back. All right, and now you can hold shift and grab a corner and you can make it slightly bigger as you need it to be. Make it a bit bigger than that, so that's getting covered. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now what to get it into Muse, what you need to do is you need to firstly save it. So I'm gonna call it light Load. and it's, I'm going to save it as an AI file, an Adobe Illustrator file, because Muse will actually take it. And I'm going to save it into my Muse folder just here. And click OK. All right, now, over into Muse, what you can do is you can go to File and you can go to Place. And when I find my Light Globe AI file, Illustrator file, I can just open that up straight in there and place it and now it comes in and I can scale it make it as big or as small as I want now whoops 
remember not to hold shift when you're resizing, otherwise it will change the proportions. Now, the beauty of using an Illustrator file is this. If I now go and preview this in the browser, Command Shift D, and watch what happens when I change the size of the browser. See how it scales to fit the width and height of the browser? Um, so that's a really nice feature and it's also a vector graphic as well. So back over to Muse, if you go into your um, assets, you'll see that I've got Light Globe, a Light Globe AI file in there. Now if I go back to, um, I can right click it and I can go Edit Original. Right? And if I make a change like this, for example, I don't want that, I'll delete it, and then you're going to need to make sure you save it. I'll hit Command S to save it, and then if I go back to Illustrator, no, sorry, Muse, you can see that it sometimes it automatically updates, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, you can just right-click and there will, on this file here, and there will be an option to update the asset. But it updated it automatically for me, so I'll go back to Muse, I might undo that, put it back there, save it. Command S and go back to Muse um, and see it hasn't done it this time. Right click it, update asset and then our asset is updated. So Muse and Illustrator and Photoshop work really, really well together. So what I want you to do is I want you to go and find um, a photograph or a graphic, whatever, no, a photograph preferably off the internet um, and just do a simple basic trace drawing in Illustrator, put it into Muse website and you've got a nice um, scalable vector graphic for your website.